continue at CES. This is our third day. We're at the Sands Expo. And today we have an opportunity to talk to someone who have changed everything at CES. This is Laura, who last year we were talking about her in our show, about what happens because for some reason they didn't want to give you the war, but you work hard to get it through. And today you're making changes. Women's nails have more presence and you're gonna to explain to us why. How are you doing and thank you very much, Laura. I'm um, having a great time. It's very exciting to be here and thank you for uh, coming over and seeing us. Um, we're really excited to be here because uh, it is a different show this year. You see sex tech that is here in the floor um, and the reason is because we were had uh, the ability to open a conversation that's very important about the importance of uh, sexual health and wellness and how that intersects with technology. So. Um, what happened was they took the award away. They gave it to us. Yes, I they remember They said, this that. is really innovative. Yes, exactly. And uh, then they took it away a month later. That, that, that and, feels bad. Yeah, yeah, it does feel bad. <laughs> um, they, they said it was uh, obscene or immoral and profane. Mm -hmm. And that was very uh, difficult for us because we said, you know, this is something that is very sacred to us. Sexuality mm -hmm. is sacred to mm -hmm. us. And uh, so we challenged them. And we said sexuality is uh, worthy of innovation. Mm -hmm. And when we told the world that they took our award away, we got a lot of support from all over the place, from all different kinds of people. And then the CTA, the Consumer Technology Association that puts on the CES show, mm -hmm. came to us and said, we want to apologize. Uh, we made a mistake and we should have never taken your award away. Wow. And then we said, let's take the opportunity to make a better show and bring sex tech to the show in a very respectful, uh, very tastefully done manner. So now you see a show that is much more inclusive, Correct. has all kinds of people, all kinds of technology, and we feel like we've been agents of change. Let for me this. tell you, this is something about technology that we cannot stop. It grows right and left. Exactly. It should not be a limitation if we do it in the right way. And our show is always promoting the good technology, whether it is for business, personal, in this case for, you know, more a little bit intimate. And I think you have done a great job at making the difference. What would be your call to actions to those entrepreneurs that might have an idea, probably something like this or something that they believe cannot be in this show? Um, I mean, if, if you've got something that can help change lives, that's tastefully done, that's respectful, and it doesn't objectify human bodies or objectify or demoralize female bodies, then you probably deserve to be here. So absolutely pursue that dream. The fact is I dreamt up this product and then I created a company and our product actually helps people understand more about their bodies because we use biomimicry and microrobotics and we teach people, we educate them. So don't ever stop. I have been relentless and that is why we're here today and now we've been able to bring a very important conversation and a very important message uh, to the entire technology community. Laura, this is my third time trying to talk to you. <laughs> if you right now, whenever you're watching this, you look on the internet, Laura has been a trending and I really want to congratulate you and actually encourage anyone who wants to come as hard as you to do it. If you want, you can do it. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Laura. Thank you, Patricio. Thank you for watching. This is Genoma Digital and Via Tecnologica. We continue here at CES 2020.